Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Technically T here, and today we're back again with yet another iPhone 7 Plus case review. Now, today we're going over the Bly Heavy Duty Defense case for the iPhone 7 Plus. Before I get started, I do want to give a huge shout out to the company for reaching out to me, asking if I want to review their product, and they dropped the case to me. So, huge shout out to you guys. Greatly appreciate it, and thank you for the opportunity. Now, going jumping into the case, this is a heavy duty case. This case is basically another version of your out of box defender. So if you're out there living that hardcore life, heavy duty construction, doing whatever you do and you do need a hard, a heavy duty case and you don't want to quite pay that out of box premium, consider this case. It is a pretty heavy duty case for the price you get if you don't want to drop that $50 on out of box. Trust me and believe me, I don't blame you. So let's jump straight into the case. So as you can see, we do have just type of cardboard packaging, company branding here. We have uh, waterproof, I guess. Well, water, water resistant, probably. Um, I guess good for exercise, maybe, and uh, some shock impact <laughs> labels there. You flip it over to the back. I guess we can get all this in detail. So we have anti-life, outdoor sport, touch-friendly, anti-drop performance, full layer of protection. Pause it, read it for yourself if you want to check out the specifications. But we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So once again. Just remember, out of box like for all you people who need it. This is an out of box like case. So let's go ahead and pop it. All right. Take off the clip because, like I said, out of box life. Let's put the clip right here. We'll go over that in a minute. Um, we do have a little welcome guide. I guess lets you know how to install the case. But we're not going to look at that. We're just going to go for what we know. We have some wipes here, and I'm assuming if you're giving me wipes, you're giving me a yep a tempered glass. Screen protector. We'll get that out of here in a minute, but let's take a look around the case. On this right side, we do have a raised power button. We do have right here, we have to where the rubber meets the actual TPU, and you can put the case together. Flip it over to the bottom side, we do have open cutouts for your speakers, and we do have a flap for your lightning adapter there. Going over to the left side, we have another one of these. Um, flaps to put the case together. We do have a raised volume up and down, and we do have another flap protecting that mute toggle switch. Flip it over to the back, cut out for your camera and flash. Once again, cut out for that Apple logo. And on the bottom here, Bly. And once again, if I'm saying that wrong company, please correct me. Some of these companies, I don't really know how to pronounce it. If I'm saying it wrong, correct me. I will not feel bad. So, and on the front side, we do have a cutout for your Touch ID sensor, and we have cutouts for all your sensors up top. So let's go ahead and see if we can actually, these cases always provide work for you to get them on and off. Once these cases are on, they are not designed to be taken on and off. So let's go ahead and see if we can pop this off all around. Uh, all right, I don't want to rip it. It's like I'm already ripping it. Not much though. All right, so that's, there is the rubber outside section of the case and uh let's see if we can pop this off without breaking tabs because i'm good for breaking something all right there we go there all right let me separate the polycarbonate section all right this is why i don't run these cases i'm gonna put that there and this is the back side of it and this is the up uh, the uh, timber glass screen material to come with it. So more like your out of box cases that actually has a plastic film here, they just give you a tempered glass screen material, which I like. Back in the day when I used to run out of box defender cases, as I, I, soon as I got it, I would just pop out the, the plastic little shield that was on it and always just ran the tempered glass. So big thumbs up. They saving you a couple bucks and they're giving you a screen protector. So I do give a huge shout out to them. Now, we'll just do that. So. Another timber glass on deck. I'll just save it for whenever. So let's look over. Let's actually look at the clip now. The clip is very heavy duty. So it is. It does click and see if it props up. I don't know. I don't want to break nothing. It's not giving me any type of propish, propish like properties, but it's all good. 360 degrees rotation. For you guys, still about that belt clip life. <laughs> you want to take it back some years and you still about that belt cliff life then here you go so let's go ahead and actually start the process of throwing this phone in this case because you do know it is a process so i want to start off the back side it does have a smooth material who you shout out for them so you want to actually scratch your device up the apple logo does have a piece of protective plastic on it so that helps too 
So let's pop that in there. Let's pop the top in. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, man, these things here. I don't miss these type cases one bit. All right. Those are all in, I hope. Still feeling, still hearing little clicks and clacks here and there. Next, let's put this on. The top protection of it, slide it on. No, nah, this is so out of box. So out of box, guys. But like I said, better price point. Fits just about the same. And the, these these cases require some work to get them on. I tell you that. There's a lot of dang on work. But it's all right. Let's just try to work our way around it. Yeah, almost. We almost there, people. We almost. We are almost there. Oh man! All right, man. I remember how I used to run these cases back in the day. Oh man, I used to thought this case was legit back in the day. <laughs> Let's take it off and get some of these uh, fingerprints off. All right, now let's take a look around the case. So, like I said, guys, outer box all day long. We do have a raised power button, kind of mushy, but what you what you would expect when you deal with these heavy duty cases. A little mushy, but it's there, not horrible. Fill it over to the bottom. We do have those cutouts, it's pretty deep in there. If you take a look, pretty deep in there, pretty deeply recessed. Cut out for those speakers. You flip this flap open. We have a cutout for that lightning adapter and that just goes back in like that let's keep it moving volume up and down very very hard to press i mean i don't even feel a click it's just mushy all the way around gotta do a little bit better than that when it comes to the volume buttons very mushy you kind of get a click but you gotta you can actually see my thumb turning red with me trying to press it so it requires a very hard press but it's there um let's do the cutouts for your mute and toggle switch Right there looking at you. Kind of you don't have to go too deep in there. They give you a nice rounded edge right there, so you do not have to go that deep, but it is there. Flip it over to the back. Generous cutout for your camera and flash. Should have any problems with any type of flash back there. And on the back, like I said, we do have that cutout for your Apple logo with some protection with a clear plastic piece already protection it. So you got that little window there. And we have some company branding here down on the side. The back is a matte black finish all the way around cutouts for your sensors your microphone your camera seems all spot on what's up to the people seems spot on so there's that um let's take a look at the clip let's go look, look, look at the clip now so there's your clip i'm not you know once again if you're about that belt life there you go you can throw it on i feel like it's i feel like it wants to clip but it's kind of I don't know. I could, I, you know, it'd be dope if it was a prop, but I don't, I'm not sure if it actually acts as a prop. But there is that clip. So everybody who needs, like I said, construction workers, this is what you'll actually need. Next, we don't even have to go over on layer and tear protection. When you got these cases, you're pretty much good. I mean, you can probably throw this here clean across Atlanta and it might not break. But once again, the only thing you have to be leery about is the screen. It doesn't matter how bad, how much lay on tear protection it has. All it takes is you to drop this on some gravel or some rocks where the ground is level and your screen will just shatter just as bad as anything else. Makes the case no different. So please be wary. Just general bings and bangs. But like I said, if you are in heavy duty construction and you're in gravel, this can fall. I think it happened to one of my buddies. He called me. He was like, hey, man, I got an auto box on my phone. My screen cracked. He does construction. So if you do do construction, just be leery that that possibly can happen. Next, fit. Of course, your fit is very on point i mean with these cases the fit is snug now one thing about out of boxes that was back in the day or cases like this if you use them for a very long time the rubber around the edges will start to get kind of weak so just be leery of that i'm not sure how what the longevity of this case is but just be aware of that stay pay attention to it that the rubber can and you know typically will get weak around these especially if you're taking the case on and off so Fit is pretty good for the case. I don't hear any creaking. Well, a little bit there. And when you pull it, making a little noise there. But overall, just grabbing it and doing like this, I don't hear any creaking. And it's pretty much a pretty, pretty solid. Not moving around, not shaking. 
pretty solid in there. Next is grip. This case does have a lot of grip. These edges are actually rubber, so you do get some good grip here. So you shouldn't have any problem with it actually falling out your hand or doing anything like that. But trust me, if it does fall out your hand, I'm pretty sure you're well protected. You don't got to worry about it in that category. So saying all that, this is the Bly Heavy Duty case for the iPhone 7 Plus. I will drop the link down in the description. It will run you $14.99. So a pretty good price point for an Autobot-like experience. If you guys don't want to pay that premium of $50, that the Autobox offers and you're just paying for the name. If you don't feel like paying that premium, you do have another option here. Same design, basically the same everything. I might actually order an Autobox Defender and doing a comparison to see if it's even worth spending that 50 if you need to, when you can kind of settle for something like this that will give you the same protection. So guys, as always, give this video a thumbs up if you like it, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next video later.